Hello, Scorpio. Namaste. It is I, Gina Luisa, here to do your reading for February of 2016. I am going to keep it between 10 and 12 minutes and not let it run on to 20, 25, 30 minutes like I do sometimes. So I am going to get right to these readings. I shuffle the cards for all those who resonate with the sign of Scorpio for February of 2016. We have the King of Diamonds, and we have the Four of Spades, and on top we have the Seven of Diamonds, and we have the Nine of Diamonds. And shuffle the blue deck. All those who resonate with the sign of Scorpio, February of 2016. We have the Jack of Spades. And the Ace of Spades. And we have the Three of Clubs and the Jack of Diamonds. And let me shuffle the Animal Oracles. All those who resonate with the sign of Scorpio for February of 2016. We have the Sloth. And the baboon on top. We have the seal and the mountain goat. Okay. So Scorpio, your first two weeks of February it is all about money. It's about abundance, okay? Here you have the seven, which shows that you're on the draw. Maybe you are investing. Maybe you're just like pulling the money into your working. I doesn't show working. I just was just the, the, the money coming to you. Here you have the king of diamonds. So you're on the draw. The King of Diamonds is, I mean, you own it. The King of Diamonds is the absolute flow of abundance coming your way. You're drawing it in, and it is coming your way. Okay, this is in a big way. This is the biggest way possible. So, this is like really, really happening for you. And let me show you what I, because we have, also, we have the three, of clubs and the jack of spades okay so we have all that abundance from the king of diamonds and the seven of diamonds shows that you're, you're on the draw maybe making an investment an investment that's going to pay off like tenfold it seems like here you have an idea maybe you're pitching an idea you know what I'm saying? Because you a balance but you're really putting it out there so you're putting an idea out there probably pitching an idea where you you have invested in this and you're getting that seems like what it is you've invested and, and and now you're you're really getting the investments from others as well because you've got this three you're putting the idea out there and the jack now this is showing it's coming into the real world in a brand new way this is a brand new venture project an idea that you're getting investments and in, intangible something very very tangible first half of the month is about your finances you investing in an idea and putting the idea out there and getting other people to invest in your idea as well okay let's see what the animal oracles can add Swartz says consider the smallness of your needs and treasure what you possess okay so maybe here you you know on the drawer maybe you were thinking you didn't have enough maybe that's why it feels a little hollowness or on the draw of money but really you have way more than enough of what you need that's what sloth is about too sloth feels content sloth doesn't feel like they're really losing out or missing anything they know everything they need is like right there they don't have to put out a whole bunch of energy to get what they need what they need is right within hand's reach really that's what i see here for you i see 
brand newness in, of your ideas in a king of abundance. So you are understanding that you don't have to like pound the pavement and go out there and really, you know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're really sharing your ideas, you're sharing your ideas in a small way. It's not, it's not a really big deal. You're kind of relaxed about it because you're so self-assured. You know that everything you need is right there within your grasp and seal. Okay. Now, Seal says hard work and inspiration are the foundation of true creativity. So you've put in the hard work and you do have the ideas. You see, a seal, they live in the water, but they give birth on land. This lets you know that all of your warrior ideas, those things in your mind, are very easily brought into the manifest world. Brand new birth into the manifest real world. So you're really birthing in the ideas and the abundance in the first half of February, Scorpio. Okay, let me read for the second half of the month. Now we have the nine of diamonds and the four of spades. The nine of diamonds, my goodness, this is a rush of abundance coming your way. This is the capital. This is the financing. This is the backing. This is the approval. This is a monetary approval from the universe this is and here you have the real world one two three four and you're able to hold this your world your reality is, is can hold all of the abundance that's about to pour into you that's what this is about this isn't having an, an empty cup waiting and ready and the abundance of the universe is just pouring right in the second half your February is going to be an abundant one because here you have the real world now which is opening and ready for you it is a focus like a laser beam for this brand new flow of abundance the jack of diamonds is brand new project a brand new flow of abundance I mean, that idea you were pitching is now everything is being focused on this one idea now and really really bringing in the abundance this is a, a financial up month for you, all those who, who, who resonate with the sign of Scorpio. Baboon says, in love and declarations of passion, heartfelt communication is the key. So Scorpio, yes, you're having this abundant flow of luck, okay? It's all about your communication. It is really going to be all about how you present your ideas and yourself. Those things that you really, really believe in show the utmost conviction in them and that, that laser beam focus. I mean, I really see this brand new beautiful flow of abundance just pow opening up like magic in the last half of the month for you. Mountain Goat says, fighting for love or other declarations may hide unfaithfulness. Okay, so now you have, in the second half, your both animal oracles are talking about love here. Heartfelt communication, okay? Not communication just for the hell of it. Not, you know, somebody saying, oh, I love you, dude, you know, you're a great man. But then they don't have any, any conviction in it. Or you saying to yourself, oh, yeah, I'm right there for you. This is great. But no conviction in it not in the last half of February. The last half of February is all about really, really feeling it. Really, really saying what you mean and meaning what you say. Like the mountain goat, he has his harem, okay? And he really fights to protect them. It's about romance and it's about your, your declarations of love. If you feel it, you need to show it. it you know, it, that's what this is telling me that the last half of the month very just for the very end of the month maybe when you go into march it's going to be more about your heart than in your finances but i see this more about your being about your financial world but you not need to not forget about those you love and about letting them know how you feel and about being like discerning okay that they're just hot felt communication is going to be the key here okay 
this. You will know what is true by how it resonates in here. And I'm just going to leave it at that. You have a wonderful, very prosperous February ahead of you. And as you're coming out of February, feeling all this abundance, and then you now your finances are on the upswing, and now you're really going to start turning your attention toward your feelings. And who, who declares they love you and who shows they love you are two different animals, right? So, mwah, mwah, mwah. have a wonderful February, all those who resonate with the sign of Scorpio, and I'll see you next month.